Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. This is C'est la vie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I just want to see what's going on with you guys for the remaining days of April. Just to see what's going on with your space, what's going on with your person, what are they doing? What's keeping them so busy right now? <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Spirit. Clear messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, Venus signs. Hmm. King of Swords. We have the King of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords. And we have the High Priestess. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. So, you know, to get straight to it, um, Sagittarius, you guys know. <sighs> I feel like you guys are coming to a place of, or sitting in a place, I should say, not coming. But I feel like you guys are sitting in a place where you guys are getting more comfortable um, a bit more relaxed if you had anxiety or you were worried about a situation I feel like you're becoming more comfortable in it you're becoming more um, less stressed about it I should say and the reason for this here with the high priestess is because the thing is the connection with you and your person or the connection that you have within yourself whatever this connection is high priestess you guys are coming to a place where you guys are just like, you know what, whatever happens, happens. All right, I'm, I got it now, thank you. You guys are at a place where you're like, whatever happens, happens. And for most of you guys, okay, you guys are understanding that this person or whoever you're thinking about, whoever's crossing your mind, you know that this connection is something that is mutual, okay? Whether they're not contacting or they're choosing to be with a third party, fine, cool, no problem. But I feel like you're coming to a place where you're no longer going to sit around and hurt over this, you know? You're not hurting. You're not as down as you were because you're starting to get insight. You're starting to know that this person's really not happy there you're starting to know that this king of swords here is in their head about you you're, you're just intuitively knowing like you you're not fooled anymore you're not fooled by the act okay and wow this high priestess is just so powerful to me right now and this could also be your person in their head trying to fight off their intuition and that could be something that you know as well. Like, I know you're fighting this. I know you are trying to make a decision, but you know where it's at. You know where, you know where your empress is. You know where your emperor, you know where I am, male or female, right? So you guys are becoming way more intuitive. You guys are starting to, you may start to have dreams about this person. You may start to, you know, in the beginning of the month, you were like, why do I constantly keep thinking about her or him? Oh, they're thinking about me. I'm picking up on their energy, right? So I feel like this weekend, this week, right? Towards the end of April, well, we are in the end of April. You guys are just sitting in a place where you're like, I know you know that I know. So since we both know that we know, I'm going to carry on and do what I need to do. Hence... I don't know focus on myself right but whoever your person is you know this this leader figure this um, I hold my feelings back and I don't want to express myself right now because um, it's just too much it's so overwhelming so I'm just gonna sit here in my head that's cool you know or somebody could be definitely spying on you too watching you but there's definitely some quietness going on here somebody's very quiet somebody's just sitting back and watching it's maybe your person too just sitting back and watching you somebody's watching you 
All right. What's this card? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Nine of Wands. All right. So there's some holding back energy. Ten of Cups. And we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah. So. All right. Okay, that's cool. Bottom of the deck, we have the Moon. This person's going to hold back. They're not expressing themselves right now. They're not expressing themselves. Um, and again, we have the high priestess again here. You guys are, you guys know. Now there may be some secrets that like nobody needs to tell you. Nobody needs to tell you what's going on. Nobody needs to tell you that this person's stressed, that this person's putting on an act. They don't need to tell you that. You know it, you feel it. You know this person's holding back from this love. And you're no longer going to be in a place of sadness anymore, devastation. You're not doing that anymore. Whether this person comes in or not, you're just not doing it anymore because you know this person is holding back. It would be different if this person was doing a life sentence and this person was, you know, I mean, stuck in, in, in some sort of, I don't know, camp or something. Like this person's holding themselves back. It's out of your control. What are you going to do? So I feel like at this time, you guys are just like, okay, I'm turning my back on the situation for now. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to relax because we both know what it is. All right. You guys may be dealing with an Aries. You guys know that this is going to, ooh, these feelings lie deep. These feelings are very deep, guys. Oh, God, humans. You know, let's see what else. Let's see what else spirit has for me here. This person's like holding their self back and... You know, they may be stuck in a family situation too, trying to figure out the things to say just to keep things, you know, stable with you, but they just you can't figure it out. And some of you guys are just, you guys already know what they're going to say. You already, you just know. There's this feeling of, I understand now that's happening with some of you guys. Like, I understand. You don't even need, you don't even need to do anything. I got you. Okay. Page of Pentacles, yeah. Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Oh, someone just may be trying to say, oh, High Priestess again. What's up? What's up with this? You guys know there's going to be a change and you know they're coming back. You know that. You can feel it. You guys are connecting with the inner you. Like, I feel like you guys are just so focused on that deep core, that love within yourself. And it's just, you know, whenever you focus on love within yourself, you just come out of a place of um, sadness and hurt and what if. Mm -mm, you don't even need to do that. We are love. We are confident. You know what I mean? We know. We know. Page of Pentacles here. You know this person wants to come in. You know they're holding back. Okay? You know when they contact, it's going to be... Mm, it's not going to be something serious at first, but you know, eventually this person's going to try to run back in, come back in. Once they realize like, oh, wow, I'm going to lose my, my satch. I'm going to lose my, my person, you know, but I feel like this person may be holding back for some of you guys. Be careful towards the end of April. You guys may find yourself, um, be careful with your words. Be careful what you say to this person and be careful how you speak to them. Be careful to, you know, be careful on how you speak to people, period, guys. Um, I feel a little bit of a aggressive energy here. You know, very cut, you know, sharp, blunt to the point. And you just want to be careful with that. Um, and this person just may know you. So they're kind of like trying to like stay away from a disaster like oh no i'm not gonna test i'm not gonna test them today you know so spirit please tell me what lies ahead for the sign of sagittarius <clears throat> i'm so happy that you guys are like in a more stable place you know and if you guys aren't there yet just just give it some time give it a few days a few days but I feel a lot of change there's so much change I'm not even talking about your person anymore I'm just talking about you on how your perspective on things the way you're viewing things four of pentacles queen of cups 
King of Wands. Oh, a little player, player, huh? Be careful, guys. Be careful, guys. You know, in the next, you know, towards the end of April into the first week of May. Be careful, um, you know, those that are just, that just met somebody. Yeah, be careful, guys. If you guys just met someone and you know you guys been dating talking or whatever the case is be aware um this person may have this in and out energy they're they're very seductive very good looking very sexual mm. Mm -mm -mm. just be careful because i feel like this is an in and out this person's very good with their words very very good with their words and their look their looks isn't isn't doing a bad job either but just be very careful guys be very careful with putting yourself out there too much with this person and right? just be just be aware you know um i feel like you guys you guys may be holding on to someone's holding on to you guys may be a little vulnerable at this time either way you know just be very mindful of who's coming into your space all right it may be a gemini earth sign pisces capricorn towards virgo all right just be very mindful obvious fire sign i don't know if i said that sagittarius or this may be your past person trying to come in trying to come in and you know have a little quick um rendezvous you know what i mean so just be careful be mindful guys you know a lot of people are bored a lot of people, you know, are trying to find things to do with this free time. So just, you know, maybe a Leo too. Yeah. All right. So let me get out of that. And <laughs> and let me see what Spirit has. What's the message that I'm going to move you guys off with? Oh, Angel of Strength. All right. Almost broke my finger. Uh, Angel of Strength here. Yeah, have the strength to say no. Ooh, bottom of the deck, walk away. Have the strength to walk away. Have the strength to walk away. Have the strength to angel of love. Have the strength to, to walk away. Focus on yourself. Love yourself. Walk away from any type of, um, you know, community lovers, if you know what I mean. Anybody that just wants to have a good time. I mean, if that's your thing, you know, I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here for that. But more so like, Walk away from anybody if you feel like your emotions may get, in, you know, involved too much or you may get into a place where you become vulnerable and you think that this person, want, you know, wants something else. But if you guys are on a mutual wavelength, hey, more power to you. You know, I don't care. But as far as like um, falling into um, a repetitive cycle with somebody or a repetitive cycle with people, you know, be mindful of that towards these um coming days here all right or in general too have a wonderful one guys i love you i will talk to you guys soon c'est la vie bye